And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time macro hard weak edge. It's a forensics challenge. Description, I've hidden a flag in this file. Can you find it? And then we have a PowerPoint to download, which I've already downloaded here. So first off, a little play on Microsoft. So instead of micro, it's macro, large, soft, becomes hard. And then PowerPoint, okay, the opposite of power is weak. The opposite of a point is an edge. Sure, I'll buy it. Okay. So obviously I don't have a PowerPoint viewer since I'm on Linux right now. So I went through a whole bunch of websites and they all tried to give me viruses and malware and threw a whole bunch of ads at me. But eventually I found this place, File Pro Info, and I was able to upload. And then after doing the CAPTCHA, I could open it and we see forensics is fun and then just a series of blank pages. The key to this problem is understanding that certain files, actually a lot of files, are archives and they have a, a set format and they're compressed and you have many files that are all inside of one container file. So let me give you some examples. Here we have an Android APK. So this is an Android app and you'll notice we can open this up. Actually this one, this one we can't open up but the archive manager recognizes it as an archive. I'll show you how we could actually open it. Let me first move it because otherwise it's going to make a huge mess. And we'll go into it and we will unzip the APK and we'll take a look at what that did. And you can see this Android APK is just a series of files with their own structure and then a whole bunch of resources like images. Same thing for Debian. So this is a Debian package and we can open this one and we see again, a file structure, some files, some descriptions of what's going on. This is how you would install Gawk. So if you were to do something like uh, apt get install uh, Gawk, this is what it would pull down. And then it operates on this file. It knows what to do with it. Finally, we have a jar, which is a Java version of packaging. And again, we've got a structure, we've got a manifest, we have some software that's gonna run. So this is no different than what a PowerPoint is. So a PowerPoint is just a series of images and descriptions and slides that are then subsequently put into this container. And when they're rendered, then it's called a PowerPoint document. So we can unzip this if we wanted to. Unzip forensics. I'm in the wrong directory. We will unzip forensics is fun. And we can see it created a few more folders here. And we will just clean this up and we'll call this exploded PPT just because it was compressed and now we have all the parts. So we'll call that exploding. And we'll begin to take a look. I like to look at everything inside of VS Code. So I'll open VS Code here. We see we have three different folders. RELs, which does not have much. Just an XML document. Uh, it seems to define, I don't know, maybe targets that can be used. Let's see, thumbnails. Yeah, so it seems to point at different things. So relationships. 
Uh, here's where you find thumbnails, for example. Here's where you find office documents. And then it points to a presentation.xml. All right. And app.xml. This XML is, it goes all the way out here. It's kind of gross. So this is one of the reasons why it's really nice to be able to format the document and take a look, see if we see anything meaningful. Not really. I'm gonna go right for the jugular here and I'm gonna try searching for Pico. We don't find anything, so we'll have to continue working through formatting the documents. You see this was created by a guy named John. You see the title, Forensics is Fun. We've got a thumbnail which maybe if we don't find anything, we'll come back to and we'll uh, try steganography on this, see if there's any hidden information. Then we see PowerPoint. We see another RELS here. Let's make this a little larger so we can quickly run through it. And this seems to list all the slides that we had. And what we saw was this was all blank. Let's look at the slide layout. Again, we've got some rails. I'm not going to look at all those. Let's just look at an example. I think this is supposed to be a slide right here. Seem to have some URIs. Again, maybe that's interesting. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. We could try. Uh, hex, decoding, things like that. Not going to look through all these. I uh, hear slides. Okay. Scroll down. We saw about 58 slides, so that makes sense. Let's keep looking through before we drill into anything, we'd really love to just find it, uh, find something that's obviously correct. Hidden, hidden looks very interesting. Let's take a look at this guy. One of the first things I always do is I try to look and see what characters are present here. So we have uppercase, lowercase. We also have numbers. And that seems to be everything that we have. So maybe this is base 64. And I always like to take things over to the rapid tables, converters. It's a nice quick way to check things. So if we think it's base 64 and we put it in, we get the flag, Pico CTF, did you know PowerPoints or zips? So let's go ahead and let's submit that. I know this can seem like a bunch of obscure knowledge and, you know, okay, this is just the goofy way that Microsoft happens to do it. How is this applicable to everything else? And what am I actually learning? But as we saw, there are quite a few different kinds of files that are in this archive format where they're later interpreted. So I've opened up here a Wikipedia page, and this is a list of the different... Um, files, which are actually this rough structure where you have one big container, then you have a file structure inside, and it's interpreted by something. So as an example, when you download Windows installers, a lot of times you'll see their .msi. Windows happens to know how to unpack this data, how to interpret it and operate on it based off of the different data that's present and uh, bing bang boom there you go it's installed you can see uh, i believe dmgs so here we go apple disk images this is how you install things for apple as you go through this you'll just see all kinds of things that you know you saw as being this specific application or this specific file type but it's really it's just a file structure in a container Thanks for watching the video. I'm going to keep making these and you can help in a number of ways. First, liking and subscribing encourages me to continue doing this type of content. It sounds like BS, but seeing people say I help them does make my day. Second, in the comments 
or on a subreddit I made, you can suggest future content. Every two weeks, I'll look at what the most requested challenge is and make a video on it. Finally, I have a Patreon if you'd like to financially support this. Thanks, and have a good one.